Have you ever wondered what ChatGPT remembers about you? If you have never thought about it, I would recommend you just stop the video here, go to ChatGPT and ask a question. Please tell me what you remember about me. And you will see that there is quite a lot of information which ChatGPT has stored uh, about you. This is a part three of the series where we are diving deep into the system prompt of ChatGPT, which was published on social network X a couple of weeks ago. And a quick disclaimer, we're not insisting that it's a real prompt of ChatGPT5, but we're just analyzing the document and trying to make sense of it. So the memory tool or the bio tool, as they call uh, this tool in the, in the system prompt, is quite interesting and quite important. This tool is regulating which kind of information ChatGPT remembers about yourself and uh, which kind of information it should forget. What we see from the prompt is the following, that this is an active tool, which means that LLM or the brain of uh, ChatGPT5 should decide every time when it needs to call this bio tool and to store some information about you or delete this information. And it calls this information only when needed, so not on every request. The data which is stored in the memory tool is used as a context for the future messages. And when uh, the model thinks that it needs this context, it goes to the bio tool and retrieves this data. The data is stored in a simple, not JSON format, so in simple text form. It specifically mentions in the system prompt that J JSON format should not be used, since this information is available on, uh, on the user request and it's better if it's stored just as a plain text. This tool is also very ethical, so it's not storing information about your religion, about your geolocation, or about criminal records, and so on. The system prompt describes a big number of use cases when the bio tool should be called. Uh, but to make to make a long story short, normally there is nothing, let's say, unethical. It calls the tool when the user either specifically requests the tool to save some information about itself, or it's more or less intended to be stored if you're asking, or if you're saying from now on in the future conversations, then uh, this bio tool will be called and some of the information will be stored. It is also important to note that uh, the LLM itself does not store the data about yourself. You can think that uh, this memory tool is a type of external database, and in this external database, there lives a prompt, or let's say a text form, text blob, with the data about yourself, about your interests, about your career, and other type of things which ChatGPT has stored about you. If you would like to know more about the memory tool, I have prepared a cheat sheet in the PDF format, which is available on the school community of Unreasonable AI or in our Telegram channel. If you like this video, if you think it's useful for you, subscribe to the channel, and also please check the playlist of uh, this deep dive series where we are diving deeper into the system prompt of ChatGPT5 and all the video of this series, they're quite interesting and I'm sure you'll be able to find uh, some useful information there. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next video which will be about the Canvas tool.